Check it out. This kid's channel is raking in the big bucks. Its videos have massive views, with the most popular ones hitting a whopping 30 million plays. And guess what? The visuals in these videos are usually pretty simple, not requiring a high level of production complexity. Social Blade reveals that this channel's estimated monthly income ranges from 3K to 48K dollars, and its annual income is a staggering 575K. Now that's mind-blowing. There are more channels of the same type pulling in similar numbers. The reason why these kinds of channels thrive on YouTube is that they've identified and met the educational needs of parents teaching their kids. Through animation, children get to explore the world and learn little things like letters, numbers, and shapes. Plus, the vibrant colors and strong entertainment value of the animations capture kids' interest, keeping them occupied and giving parents some time for themselves. If you're contemplating starting your own YouTube channel, but struggling to come up with ideas, you might want to consider venturing into children's learning content. With the help of AI tools, creating similar videos can take just a few minutes. In this video, I'll demonstrate the simplest way to produce such animations. And stick around because I'll share the complete sample video at the end. Step 1. We turn to our old friend ChatGPT. We ask him to generate a script for our video by inputting the prompt. Please write a kid's learning video script for me. Set the background in the forest. The host is a monkey who introduces himself and then introduces his friends, giraffe, rabbit, fox, and owl to the audience. The animals briefly introduce themselves. The audience is preschoolers, so the tone should be engaging and the wording as simple as possible to make it easy for children to understand. The video is about two minutes long. Feel free to replace the story background and animals with your preferences. If you have better prompts, go ahead and use them. But remember, your prompts should be as detailed as possible to avoid duplication, preventing potential demonetization issues. Okay, ChatGPT swiftly responds, and we can see that it has provided details from the scene to the character's actions. I find it excellent. Now, let's move on to the second step, using a text-to-speech tool to generate voiceovers. I personally prefer Eleven Labs, which I consider the most user-friendly AI text-to-speech tool currently available. Each user has a free quota of 10,000 characters per month. We go to the speech synthesis interface and choose a voice you like. Each voice sample has corresponding tags and will listen to this childish voice, which seems suitable for today's video. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. I think it's perfect. However, remember that our video has five different characters, so we need five different voices. We head to the voice library, search for childish, and find samples with young voices. Choose your preferred voice, click add to voice lab, change the voice name to the corresponding character name, and click add voice. In voice lab, select the character you want to generate. Click use, paste the text generated by ChatGPT into the text box, Click Generate and listen to the result. Hi everyone. I love reaching for the stars and eating the tastiest leaves. Can you even tell it's AI generated? Click to download. A crucial note here is not to input all the character's lines at once. Generate and label the voiceovers in sections according to the script's order. This way, you can easily organize the voiceovers later. After generating all the voiceovers, we move on to the third step, creating the animation. First, we need a forest background. Go to Midjourney, enter Green Forest Background for Kids Animation, dash dash AR 16 colon 9, and wait a moment. Great! I think the third one looks good. Click U3 and download it. Next, let's go to Canva for the animation part. Choose Videos, YouTube Video, and add the forest background you just saved. Right click and select Set Image as Background. Let's start with an opening. Click on Text, add a text box, paste the title, Split it into two text boxes for a more pleasing look. Change text color, choose a cute font, adjust the font size, and add some text effects. Then, let's add animation to both the image and text. Select the image, click Animate, choose Photo Zoom under Photo Movement, and select both. Do the same for the text. Something is still missing, music. Click on Elements, search for Happy Children, choose Audio. This one is nice, add it to the timeline, check the preview. Excellent, our opening is ready. Now, let's move on to the animation part. Add a new page, upload the background image, 
and bring in our first character, the monkey. Search for monkey, select a dynamic asset, adjust the size and position, and set an entrance animation. Click Create an animation to create custom animations by dragging the material to design its animation trajectory. For example, I want the monkey to swing down from a tree, so I set its starting point and dragged it downward. Adjust the speed, and it's done. Simple, right? Next, import the voiceovers. Click on Uploads, choose Audio, select the uploaded voiceovers. You can upload your own from here. Drag the monkey's first line onto the timeline. Right-click on the monkey, select Show Timing, set the monkey's entrance time, and then set the voiceover's time slightly later than the monkey's entrance. Preview it. Hello, little friends. Welcome to our amazing forest. I'm Milo, the monkey, and I've got some awesome friends to introduce you to today. It should look something like this. Now, follow the dialogue order, Add characters and voiceovers to the scenes one by one. It's straightforward. I spent about three minutes on this. If you find it challenging to keep up, give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel. You can watch it repeatedly next time. Once finished, click download. In the final step, we'll use CapCut to add subtitles. Import the animation we created earlier, add it to the timeline, go to the text menu, and choose Auto Captions to generate subtitles. Uncheck Apply to All in the upper right corner. This is to facilitate adjusting the subtitle positions later. If you don't uncheck it, when you adjust the position of one line, all other lines will move accordingly. Now, change the subtitle color to blue, or any color you prefer. Next, let's add some dialog bubbles to make the scene more interesting. In the Stickers menu, choose Cartoon, select this dialog box. Place it below and align with the subtitles so they sync. Adjust the size and position of the bubble, move each line into the bubble one by one, and adjust the position and capitalization. Following the same method, add dialog boxes for each character. Once done, you can export the video. Let's take a look at the finished product. friends, welcome to our amazing forest. I'm Milo, the monkey, and I've got some awesome friends to introduce you to today. Look up there, that's Gary the giraffe. He's super tall and loves to eat yummy leaves from the treetops. Say hi, Gary. Hi, everyone. I love reaching for the stars and eating the tastiest leaves. Hopping over here is Rosie the rabbit. She's the fastest hopper in the forest. Hi, Rosie. Hi, little friends. I love to hop, 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 and I'm always on the lookout for tasty carrots. Meet Freddy the fox. He's a clever little friend who likes to play hide-and-seek. Hello, Freddy. Hey, everyone. I'm the master of hide-and-seek. Maybe we can play together later. Up in the tree is Olivia the owl. She's wise and loves to stay up late. Say hello, Olivia. Hello, little ones. I'm here to share my wisdom with all of you. Aren't my friends amazing? We all live here in the forest and have so much fun together. We hope you had a blast meeting us today. Keep exploring and learning, little friends. See you next time in the forest.